Hey, KIC here. Welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. We're going to drop a couple things off here because we have some business to take care of first thing. And I actually need one more thing before I can take care of that. So, in the last episode, we were, oh, I don't know, just kind of flying around a little bit, just hanging out in the countryside, checking out the swamp area. And if you happen to pay close attention to the end of the episode, you really didn't have to pay close attention, but... At the end of the episode, I may have, oh, I don't know, been carrying something back with me. Uh, it helps if I put what I need in there. Let's try that. There we go. I have a lot of water skins in there, don't I? I guess I'll take one more. There we go. So, I brought something all the way back with me, which you probably know what that is then. That would happen to be a frog. Now, it took quite a while. I had to bounce around a fair bit. Interesting choice of words there, but you can see she's in there. If we open the door, she's... Oh, nope. Let's close the door. She's kind of hanging out right at the door. She wants out. It actually was not that easy to get her in there, and I see an egg, which I'm going to grab right away before that goes away. Thank you very much. That's a Dilo egg. Good. You can use a few of those. I should probably keep my Dilos together. That way they will drop eggs, and I don't. Instead, they wander around and don't drop eggs all that much, but... Ended up bringing that good old albino frog back with me, which really wasn't all that easy to do. It took several, well, several tries of running along the way and trying to stop and rest and try and let Big Bird get a little more stamina back. But I managed to make it back with her, and we're going to go ahead and knock her out right now and start taming her. Now, I want to grab, just in case, let's go ahead and grab, you have, there we go. No, not that. I don't want that. Never mind that. That's the wrong thing. Let's grab that. I want some raw meat. And then, I think maybe Racer X, do you have, yes, you do. Let's go ahead and take those. We're going to take some prime meat jerky, just in case. Because I'm not sure. I only have two kibble. I could have sworn I had more scorpion kibble somewhere, but I was running around before I started. Obviously, I had most everything on me, and I just I couldn't find it. If I had some, I don't know where it went. So let's go ahead and shoot her. Ow! Ooh, I wonder if I'm going to get knocked out from one hit. That would be exciting. I kind of hope not, because... Um, <laughs> I need to be able to tame her. Do you have any any berries on you just in case? Because I know I don't have any on me. Looks like I'll be okay. She's mm, cheating and trying to hit me through the walls there. And again, I'm kind of cheating and hitting her from up high, so I guess it's only fair. If I'm going to cheat, she should be able to cheat. I'm just going to go ahead and shoot her in the, the hindquarters there since... I don't really want to get smacked again, and I don't want to risk falling in there, and then who knows what would happen. I don't want to have to kill her or anything to keep myself alive. Not that it would be a far run, but, you know, just saying. Let's see if I can get a better shot, though. Because it probably would be better to hit her in the face just to get a little more narcotics in her quicker. Here we go. She is unconscious. I saw it change there. Let's just go ahead and load her up right away. You're going to get those and those and those. And I'm fairly certain between all of those, she'll end up being okay. So while that's going on, we have some other things we can take care of here. I actually want to drop these dyes off. I don't know if I have any room in there. I sure don't. Do I have any room in there? Look at that. I have some room in there. Still haven't gotten around to using that laser attachment. One of these days. So while I'm waiting for the frog to tame... Let's go ahead and scroll down a little bit. Going to be somewhere in this general area. I, Yep, there it is, right there. We're going to go ahead and take the engram for the frog saddle. Now, if I go to my craftables and go to saddles, I am missing... Looks like just wood and cement paste. Okay, well, I know I have cement paste in here, and there's a bunch of wood. So, what do you say we go and make a saddle? I'm assuming I'm going to need this shortly here. I suppose I could be wrong. Let's go ahead and see how she's doing over there. I'm actually going to stop and pick that up because I can throw that in a box over here where 
that will eventually be turned into fertilizer. And I should probably come to think of it. Ooh, dang. So some of those have spoiled. That's okay, though. It's okay. It's not a big deal. It'll grow more. Let's just go ahead and drop these in here. And while it is busy working on this, we can go check on the frog and see how she's doing. So it looks like I'm going to be able to get another... Uh, about another 40 or, or so. Uh, Daisy, you too? I don't really have room right now. We're going to get another 40 narcotics or so, which still is not quite as many as I would hope for, but looks like that one kibble did a pretty good job so far. Looking at getting eight levels out of her 100% taming efficiency, that's kibble for you. Kibble is pretty awesome. She should be eating momentarily here, right? Oh! <laughs> I guess two kibble was enough for me because of my settings. We're going to call her Frogger because I'm old. And that's a game I grew up playing. Let's just go ahead and turn that off. Um, follow, that is. I'm going to take that jerky back. And I'm going to go ahead and throw that back on Racer X since he had it beforehand. We'll go ahead and let him continue to hold on to that. I'm totally fine with that. I'm going to grab a couple berries off him, and he doesn't really have any food, does he? Now, I'll be fine with some extra berries there, because I'm going to just blast through a bunch of them quickly here. I just want to make sure I'm okay. I don't really need the food right this second. But, you know, just to, just to be safe. Now, I'm not 100% sure here. From what I've read... These frogs can jump pretty high. So I'm closing the door, assuming, and you know what happens when you assume, that I'm going to be able to jump over the walls to get out. Now I just want to take a look at her stats here. So 352 health is not a lot. That does concern me a little. She has some melee damage, some movement speed. Okay. Yeah, not, not the greatest of stats. I'm not going to go take on a T-Rex. So it looks like they're basically using the Scorpion Saddle, the same look. No reverse gear. I did read about that, too. That kind of stinks. So um, let's just go ahead and give it a shot. <laughs> oh, that... <laughs> um, let's... Oh, that is... Oh, that is, that is great. Oh, that is awesome. I bet I can just mm, kind of bounce over these rocks. Oh, but over the tree. Look at that. <laughs> oh, man, that is, oh, that is great. Can I, can I just jump over here? Oh, look at that. No worrying about crossing the river. Just jump. Oh, that is, oh, that hurt, actually. Hmm, sorry about that. I, I didn't mean to hurt her there, but, uh, oh, that is, oh, that is great. That is so fun. That, I, yeah, I just, I, I think fun is the best way to describe that. That is a lot of fun. Look at that. I mean, she just covers some ground. That is great. I've read about, you know, people talking about her, not my frog, obviously, but about their uh, maneuverability because they can just kind of jump over stuff. Oh, that is so cool. I really like that. Wow, look at that. We have two Brontos on the on the shore here. What are you, just out of curiosity? Level 9, huh? Not that I'm really interested in taming another Bronto right now, but I'm, I'm curious. I'm, I gotta admit I'm curious. Here, let's, let's see what you are. I do want to check out the whole cementing paste from bugs thing. That sounds really interesting, too. You're level three, so you're pretty low level. We're just gonna go ahead and go up here. This is kind of the other way around to an area that I like to frequent. This is a pretty ugly area at times. You get Rexes and Carnos, lots of Raptors up here. And there are usually some bugs somewhere. What's your carrying capacity? 169, not great. Why don't you just go ahead and chill there for a moment? I'm gonna pull my pike out just in case. I'd like to be prepared. Oh, look at that. That's another saddle I can actually use. Because I do have another scorpion. And I never bothered to make one for her. Yeah, look at that. That's not a bad one. It's 30 armor. 25 would be standard. So, I mean, it's not great. It's 
just slightly better than an Engram, but I'll take it. Okay, so I am looking for not pauses. I am looking for some bugs. I'm looking for some ants. Something along those lines. I don't know that I want to mess with dragonflies right now. Those, I think, are actually a little stronger than the ants are. So I'm just kind of bouncing around here. Somewhat literally. Just looking for an ant. Trying to keep an eye out for what's out here, too. Just just because, like I said, you can, you can get some pretty nasty customers out here. So I do need to be careful of that. There are... Okay, there are some dragonflies right there. I don't really want to mess with them just yet. That's a carno over there. Okay, I just want to take a moment here. Let's see. That's the left click. So that's a pretty short looking attack. And that's the right click. That, is, that a, is that a long attack maybe? Maybe the... Ah... Okay, so the left click... Oh, speaking of... Look at that. Ah, look at that. You do a left click and you instantly get cementing paste. I suspect I might have angered something else. No? Looks like that right click is kind of like a, an area attack. It might be useful if you have a bunch of them coming at you on the ground like that. Hello, you. That was a right click right there. That was a left click. And to do a right click instead to harvest, but look at that. Basically just instantly collects cementing paste. That is so nice. That is really truly nice. Cementing paste is one of those things that it's not difficult to get, it's tedious to get. Oh, here comes a Carno. Let's just go ahead and get out of the way of the Carno. It can go attack the uh, other dinosaurs all it likes. I, I don't really feel like playing with a Carno. This area looks a little different to me, actually. I haven't really been back here since the change. I kind of want to mess with the Dilo a little bit, just to just to see. Here we go. We'll do it. I'll mess with the Dilo. I want to see how long it takes to fall over, because the frogs do a ton of torpor damage. It takes 10 seconds to, to deliver. It's like a scorpion in that regard. But they do a ton of torpor damage. And I think I actually need to use the right click. That's what I did that time. If you use the right click one, the alternate attack, I believe that's the one that just loads up the torpor cannon. So we'll do another right click there. I think the other one is already down. I'm not going to bother taming it. Yeah, there it is. It's down right there. You're going to fall over momentarily, I suspect. No? Here, I'll go ahead and hit you again. While you're busy... Ah, uh, man, now my frog is rubber banding. There we go. And I think that one is down as well. Yeah, that only took a couple attacks. That's not bad at all. Now, I might be able to do one bolt on them, but for an animal, that's pretty good. I'm not going to complain about that. And yeah, this area has changed a little bit. It has definitely changed a little. Because it looks like they moved things around a little. Because here's the river... And it wasn't always that you had a bunch of stuff right on the river's edge. Huh. Okay. Well, I hadn't seen this, so this is new to me. Looks like they just moved... They shifted things a little, because here's the, the standard ravine that I have used many times to either get places or to tame creatures in. Just out of curiosity. There's my campfire and my standing torches... So, that stuff is still here, but they definitely changed some things around a little bit. Can you get up there? Ah, oh, that's great. Yeah, there's another one of my torches. Yeah, they just, they moved things around a little bit. I mean, they have definitely played with the map some. Ah, it's gonna hurt, isn't it? Yeah, sorry about that. Sorry about that, Frogger. There's a Spino right there. Maybe that can be a goal for, oh, I don't know, the near future-ish. Are you... are you a piranha? Yeah. You're just kind of hanging out, aren't you? Piranha. And there's the spino nice and close, so let's not get too close to it. I don't need a spino chasing me while I am on frogback, because... Uh, 
I suspect if the Spino catches me, my frog probably won't last long. Oh, look at that, though. Um, wow, you swim nicely. Very nicely, actually. That is... Oh, that's nice. I like that. I gotta say, I am a fan of the frog. Yep, I am liking this frog. It's gonna be a little flimsy, of course, and that's not really meant to be a pun. I mean, look at its big old flimsy legs, but... Yeah, it's a little, it's a little flimsy. It's a little weak, because it's... I mean, well, it's a big frog. It's not gigantic dinosaur, so... It's not the most, um... Mm, I don't know... Armored creature. It doesn't have the most health. And you gotta be careful when you're jumping around, because... I suspect if I jumped from there... And didn't... Tame the jump like that, I was actually running. If I had not stopped running, I suspect that would have been worse. But, man, look at this. This is awesome. I mean... Yeah, I'm not going to clear a behemoth gate, but I bet you I can jump over... No, maybe not. Maybe I maybe I need to move back a little bit. I, I wouldn't be surprised if I could jump over that dino gate. I just think that's possible. Well, I got around it. Maybe you can't, but at the very least, I can kind of start jumping up the side of my house. That's kind of cool. But that's where I'm going to call it an episode right there. So look at that. Tamed a frog, put a saddle on the frog, jumped around on a frog made cementing paste with a frog, and have now jumped over a bunch of walls because I'm apparently enjoying jumping around on the frog way too much. But I will catch you on the next episode. Might do a little streaming this weekend if you were watching things the day they are actually posted. Might not. Don't know. That's just the way things go. I try to judge how it's going to be, and most of the time I can't. But probably will be streaming a little later today, actually. So look for that if you're interested in joining me and having a little bit of a more relaxed gaming session and a bit of a conversation. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up for me, and I will catch you either later today, this weekend, or on Monday. So till then, enjoy the rest of your day. See you later.